Let me introduce to you the Nebra Enerbeam, the world's smallest pocket cinema projector. Originally featured on Kickstarter back in March 2019, the project was quickly funded within a matter of weeks. And it's no surprise too, because judging by the size of the box alone, this projector really is going to be remarkably small. So let's open this up then and get it out the box. Well, we are first met with the Nebra Anybeam user manual as well as operation instructions. We have a nice piece of protective foam, which is always a pleasure to see. Before finally the projector itself. And my word, that is ridiculously small. Look at it, it is absolutely micro. I mean, that is just unprecedented and I've got to admit I'm quite literally blown away with how they have managed to fit an entire projector into such a small design. Now the case itself is in fact metal which is great for protecting the internal hardware and then if you look at the left hand side you'll come across a spring-loaded multi-way switch which both goes left and right as well as inwards and then of course you've got your speaker or sound output there as well. On the back you'll come across a micro USB power source, it has a full size HDMI input and then of course you've got your standard 3.5mm headphone or speaker jack there too. Before finally underneath, you will see a quarter inch mount. So yes, if you want to mount this to a tripod, you can do that. For its overall design though, I must admit I do like its simplicity. I mean, you can see that everything has been reduced or kept to a minimum in order to keep the projector itself nice and small. And for those you're wondering just how have they managed to create such a micro projector? Well, I can in fact tell you it's because this here is in fact an MEMS device or micro electro mechanical system. And because it uses laser technology and not the standard bulb, well, that not only makes it more compact, more cost efficient, but it can also apparently offer even better picture quality than most standard DLP projectors. Now, an important question is what are the specifications as well as features that a pocket sized projector can offer us? Well, because it uses laser scanning technology, that means no matter where you place this, the projected image will always be in focus. It has no internal fan, so that means, of course, no fan noise. When it comes to the display resolution, well, that comes in at 720p at 60 frames per second. Its brightness is 30 ANSI lumens. And then the output for this speaker, well, of course, because of its small size, it only houses a one watt speaker. But the good news is the voltage that this thing uses is only DC 5 volts or 1.5 amps. So yes, you can, of course, use this with a portable power bank. So as you can see, the Nebra Enerbeam, aka the world's smallest pocket cinema projector, still carries quite a powerful punch in terms of its capabilities. But just how well will it perform in terms of picture quality? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out right now. So I'm going to set up this tiny projector and we are going to run some tests. So here we go, all set up, and just to confirm, by the way, you will see some flickering on the footage that has been captured, but don't worry, you don't see that in real life or with the naked eye. That is just the way the camera picks up this laser projection. Now, I'll be using this with just an Android TV box to play some HD footage, which is on a micro SD card. Once you turn on the projector, you'll get a flash of the Nebra logo before entering the waiting for connection screen. So there is no software or user interface installed, but there is however a quick menu when you press and hold the multi-way switch. And this brings up a few options such as keystone correction, flip screen, brightness, etc. But now on with the show, so let's run some footage. Now this is some 4K footage converted to HD and to be honest it is clearer than what the camera is showing but at the same time on a huge 100 inch display there is a loss of quality. It's not massive but it is noticeable. Now if I just compare this with a 50 inch display then you can see how the picture is brighter, the colours are deeper and the overall quality is sharper.
This is another comparison to how much brighter the image is when you compare a large projection to a small projection. The overall image is clearer on the 50 inch display. Again though this is not a complaint, it's more that the projector is better suited for smaller displays even though it can produce over a 100 inch one. A quick example now of how bright animations look and they do show up surprisingly well compared to other standard videos. Again the colours and picture are not as sharp as I would like but on a 100 inch display it's still a great watch. I've also hooked up my PlayStation console to this and here is a quick example of some game footage. Now the good news is there is no noticeable lag with the controls and the picture display is still not super bright but don't forget this is a micro projector and since it still provides a huge display no matter where you place it, you can't really complain. You can also hook up your phone or smart device providing you have the correct adapters. So you can either scan through social media on the big screen, share your personal photos and videos, or even run a presentation if need be as text shows up very well as you can see here with a various range of font sizes. And finally when it comes to additional light around the display, well the image can still be seen with a light on or maybe the curtains or even blackout blind open. But this would cause a lot of difficulty for your audience to really engage with what is being shown. So if you can, close the curtains and remove as much unnecessary light as possible. So there you go, that was a quick overview and of course demonstration. And what do I think of the Nibra Anybeam? Well, to be honest, in terms of portability, then this device definitely wins hands down. Its dimensions and weight truly are pocket sized, allowing you to practically take it anywhere without even knowing it's there. The picture quality is also good. Okay, it's not fantastic, but it is decent for such a small device. And if you do keep your projections on the lower end of the scale, then you will see a dramatic difference in terms of picture quality. As previously mentioned, there is no user interface as this is quite literally a plug in and play projector. But it was with this that I found the most problems. For example, when I hooked up my laptop, it was not recognized. And you could say it was maybe the adapter. However, I've tried the adapter with many different projectors and it all works perfectly well. One thing I must admit however is the sound from the MyNews 1W speaker was quite outstanding if you think about its size. And because the projector runs at 60 frames per second, it can handle gameplay without any noticeable lag. So overall, this device does do the job of being the world's smallest pocket cinema projector. And as long as you keep your expectations low, then you will be pleasantly surprised. I do feel this is more for someone who has to give mobile presentations than for a film lover and it isn't exactly suitable for a home cinema setup. But if you want that extra screen size whilst you are out and about with the simplicity of being able to pack it away in your pocket then check out the Nibra Anybeam. It does have a few flaws but for a pocket sized projector you won't find one smaller or lighter anywhere in the world. Now, as usual, before I go, please tell me your thoughts on the world's smallest projector in the comment section beneath this video. And if you did like this video, then please show your appreciation by giving it a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. And I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.